How's everybody doing today? Happy 4th of July, even though 4th of July is tomorrow. How's everybody doing tonight? It is a hot night. It is... I'm exaggerating. It's not a hot night. It's just a humid... Nah, it's not even a humid night. It's a breezy night outside, but this apartment gets very hot. This is why you see me walking around shirtless. I'm showing off my love handles. It's also... Screw it, man. It's... This apartment is a scorcher, and I'm too lazy to turn on the AC because I have too much crap here. I moved everything out of the way. And I even want to turn the AC on. It can only capture this room and not the rest of the apartment. But it is what it is. I, I can't fight it anymore. I'm just going to fucking deal with it and let it be, let it be. How is everybody spending their 4th of July? The funny thing about me saying happy 4th of July is that even though it's tomorrow, some of you won't be watching this video until maybe a week now or a month from now, depending on when my editor uploads this stuff because he's in college right now during the summertime i'm prepared sort of got my glass of water to keep myself hydrated i want to make this video short and sweet to begin i've been busy this summer that's why i haven't been doing much video blogs or anything i've been looking forward to being busy because when i find myself thinking too much my mind goes <laughs> and it's been like that all winter long that's how me coming up with these video blogs and the being one of the reasons I end up doing it in the first place. See what I mean? I got tongue twisted. Where was I again? I said about, eh, who cares? Tomorrow I'm going to be working, not at my job. My job, I got the day off, but I'm going to be working at my other job, which I was working at Saturday. I was working on Sunday, today, and I'm going to be doing it tomorrow in Manhattan. Bottled water. I've been doing the bottled water all. I'm gonna be doing the bottled water all summer long, except I can only do it Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. Personally, I'd rather stick to Fridays because that Fridays I don't have to travel. Saturdays I'm too lazy to travel, especially after last Saturday's fiasco where the train gets messed up. There's only one pro about working on a Saturday in Manhattan: the girls. A lot of gorgeous women in Manhattan. That's the only reason I choose to go to Manhattan on a Saturday. But eh, even though they're all taken, still, they're fun to watch and better to look at than to listen. <laughs> if somebody's watching, he's going to kill me, but who cares? But yeah, tomorrow's 4th of July. I'm prepared. I got everything. I got sodas. I got waters. I got Gatorades. Only thing I'm missing is the ice, and I got to get that stuff ready for tomorrow. And who knows what time I'll be starting. I plan on waking up as early as 9 o'clock, getting my cooler ready, because I want to be there before 12 or 1. As far as where I'm selling it, I don't even know yet. I haven't figured that one out yet. There's so many spots to sell, but because it's 4th of July and, and it's like being in Manhattan on New Year's Eve, you can't go to Times Square on New Year's Eve because you can't even walk through there. It's Everything is sealed off, especially if you've got to go to a store in Times Square, you can forget about it. 4th of July, I don't know why areas are usually packed, but it's usually wherever the, the fireworks are. And every town's got the same exact thing. In Long Island, they do the same thing in Jones Beach. In Westchester, they do the same exact thing up in Rye and Rye Playland. And in Manhattan, they say the East River, but I would see the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm going to choose one of those spots to sell water. Maybe the USS Intrepid. Too bad I didn't go there back in 1993 to watch Lex Luger, Body Slam, Yoko, Zuna in a good moment of wrestling that I like. It's just a shame people don't view it that way because nobody really likes uh, Luger. He gets the same Roman Reigns. Well, they did like Luger. He doesn't get the same hate like Roman Reigns does. Anybody hear about Roman Reigns being suspended? I'm wondering if it's a work or not, because in today's wrestling world, you don't know what to believe anymore. Give me a second here. Ah, damn it, sorry. I got that to spit out some stuff. And what was, I, what was I talking about? Roman Reigns being suspended. I'm wondering if it's a work or not, because thanks to the Attitude Era, you don't know what to believe anymore in wrestling. You know, friends keep bugging me to talk about more, do more wrestling blog, because that's one subject I'm good at. But like I said before, there's too many damn wrestling blogs in these in this fucking YouTube, and they're all the same exact thing. But I will cover one thing, though. To begin, I'm finally glad that I'm finally, even though it's Sunday night, I'm finally happy that I bought back my Sunday night lineup today. The only thing is when I'm done making this blog, I gotta find the DVD that I purchased. It's somewhere around here. I purchased season two of Street Justice, starring Carl Weathers and Brian Genesee, Javid, G I don't know. The guy from Will and Grace is in that, sh in that season, too. I ran out of shows to watch in fe back in February. I was watching this show back in February called with uh, the late Glenn Fry. In fact, as a tribute to Glenn Fry, is why I started watching that show. 
And I said, I got to find a show to watch. But I had nothing to watch the, these past few months. And sometimes I just find myself just procrastinating, browsing around, tired, sleepy, watch one thing or two, then I'm blank for the rest of the night. And other stuff has been bugging me. Eh, I think we already know what's been bugging me all this time. I don't want to cover that again. So I started. I decided to finish my water like as early as 5 o'clock, get here, relax. At 6 p.m., I start my Sunday night lineup consists of wrestling at 6, watching old school WWF. 7, I watch Batman the Animated Series, but from 7.30 till 9, I got nothing to watch. That's why I'm making this blog right now. I'm, watching, I'm making this blog between my lineup. It's 8.19 p.m., and at exactly 10 p.m., no, 9 p.m., I plan on watching Street Justice, because that was the original time slot I watched it in in El Salvador back in 1993 or 4, I think, was when I discovered that show. And I could never watch that damn show because my uncle would come in, which would come home from work and change the fucking channel and put stupid Siempre en Domingo. Everybody remember that stupid show, Siempre en Domingo? I hated that show. That show was just as annoying as uh, Sabado Gigante. Or as Stewie would say, Sabado Gigante. What was I again? Talking about my lineup. Yeah. So that's so I got to figure out what to watch between the 7.30 and 8 o'clock slot. It's the only thing I got going on right now when it comes to television. Because I don't even watch television anymore. I spend most of my time here on YouTube and I got to get off the fucking... This is, this is the trouble with these blogs sometimes. You will spend so much time watching them... You want to be one, and you start living your life by viciously through it. And I'm, um, and hey, and hey, if you're gonna vilify me, every one of you are guilty of doing the same exact thing. From the ones who want to do videos just like that to the trolls. That's why you got so many videos that are all basically the same exact thing, the same type of pranks. They're all done in colleges. Guys who look older than me, but they're probably younger than me. I wish I could do like I wish I could do some of those pranks like. Like the, like I would I would take it up, down a notch, go old school Tom Green style, the planking, the disturbing the class, and <laughs> probably risking myself getting arrested. I was watching some clips of uh, the Tom Green show a few months ago on YouTube, and I forgot how funny that show was. Then stupid jackass came in and just <laughs> ruined everything. So that's the only thing I got going on right now for Saturday and Sunday. Monday is Fourth of July, which is tomorrow. I gotta go buy some ice. Fill up that cooler. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Head to Manhattan. I hope the trains are not messed up tomorrow because that's one of the things I hate about working on Sunday night. Uh, on the weekends and usually holidays. <coughs> excuse me. Usually the holidays work just like weekend schedules. That's one of the reasons I started to hate doing Saturdays. Like I said, the only fun thing that I'm about going to Manhattan on Saturday is the girls. A lot of gorgeous girls in Manhattan. The con dealing with the trains, and if you don't sell much, you lost what? Five fifty plus ice. No, five seventy. Yeah, five fifty. Do the math. I don't know. And I gotta get the brand name stuff because I always get some high maintenance. Uh, I call them the Great Papon type of buyers. And I realize they're not the, really the problem sometimes. It's, it's another ethnicity that they're always like, they want the brand name shit. When it comes to the water, it's not a big deal. But when it comes to sodas, it's got to be either Pepsi, Sprite, Coca-Cola. Don't try buying cola or lemon or anything that doesn't have a popular logo because if, they won't buy it. Even if you sell it for 75 cents or 25 cents. Business economics. Sometimes I wonder I should have gone to college for something else instead of going for that stupid career I chose. Should have gone into business, but I just sucked in math. I could have been uh, like a lot of other people from my country. They all go when they all go to colleges. They study the same exact thing: business administration, medicine, or something we call licenciado. I still don't know what the hell that is. Licenciado. They, everything out there is. These people have to study the same exact thing. It's hard to pinpoint what it is. So that is my final. So I think that's about it. I covered about what. Nine minutes, eight minutes. That beats me. That gives me enough time because I, 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 I don't know. I got in trouble in this channel because of some video I posted, so I, I can't post anything longer than 15 minutes anymore. And that's the alarm telling me that I gotta stop. But I think I'll give you guys a minute. It's time to end this video with my final quote, but I don't have the thing here connected to the computer. Oh well. Let me read you one final quote before I call before I call it a night. 
it's funny this is the first time I ever do a blog at night because usually I do my blogs in the daytime but I work in the daytime from 7.30 till 6 p.m. and by the time I get here I'm exhausted I don't even watch wrestling anymore on I had this lineup going on in the week where I watch wrestling one hour per night but I can't even do that lineup anymore because I just come back tired and I gotta be in bed before what 11.30 or 12 o'clock because I gotta wake up at 5.30 to be at work at 7.30 all I can say is keep calm you know I'm awesome it's a magnet from a picture from my second job I gotta do there. Oh well. That's about it. I got nothing I got nothing else to say. This is video blog number five. I should have prepared more, but I just wanted to get this blog out of the way. So be that as it made, it's time to go. I gotta unplug everything, make sure that the video came out fine, the battery is working fine, microphone's working fine. I bought that stupid stand that the camera's used for nothing because now I just put the camera on top of the computer. You're on top of the... So right now, for all you who are watching me, the camera is on top of the computer. And I'm looking at something here. I'm looking at names that I don't even want to... I don't want to mention those names anymore. Some of you know... Ah, I'll keep it to myself. Time to go. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Bye-bye. Bye, Bonds. Hasta luego. Placido Domingo. Enjoy your 4th of July. Stay safe. Uh, I hope you die of Legion's Air Disease. I hope you stand in the middle of a middle of the road and hit get hit by a truck. And uh, I don't know. That's about it. Bye bye. Bye bonds. Hasta luego.